is up, everybody? This is Alex from Title Boxing Club with your 30-minute boxing workout of the day. It is Monday. Happy Monday. I got the mitts for Mitt Work Monday. I got circuits for Circuit Saturday. I got the red hat again for Fred Durst Friday. And I've got a little bit of a why for you coming up, too. We're going to be working a lot of footwork in this particular class. And it's a nice thing to work on at home because we might have some space to move around. We may not have a bag, but that's okay. We can use that footwork, use that space we have. And footwork it really is one of the most important things in boxing. Said it a lot, but it's true. Footwork makes the dream work, as well as teamwork, but also footwork. And you might think, well, why is footwork so important? And maybe the answer is obvious because you're moving around when you're in a boxing match. That is true, but that's not all of it. Learning and understanding the fundamentals of footwork is about learning and understanding body control balance. So even if you just want to stand in one place and beat the crap out of a bag, the better your footwork is, the better you'll be able to do that because your body will learn all this stuff through movement. We can tell you about the mechanics of a punch, how to throw it, what to do, but your body has to learn it. And we found that your body will learn that so much easier if you understand the footwork component because you're moving, putting yourself in different positions, and you're understanding why the punches work the way they do. So it's good for everything. It's good for your balance. It's good for your coordination. It makes the workout better too. There's a lot to love here and you're gonna love this class. So let's get ready for that warm up in just a minute. And here comes that warm up. Everybody in that fighting stance, we're just doing a little boxer bounce, but our hands are down at the beginning. We don't wanna ever have our hands down when we're boxing, but we're gonna do it right now just to get ready. I want you to focus on your breathing while you're in this boxer bounce, moving around, nice and controlled breathing into the nose, out through the mouth. Once you feel like you've got a good, got a good rhythm going, you're gonna keep those elbows in nice and tight to your rib cage, and just bring those hands up. Just bring those hands up. Don't need to get too high. We're not doing Muay Thai today. Keep them just right about that chin, cheek level, bouncing back and forth to that boxer bounce. Try to speed it up a little bit. Just going from one foot to the other, transferring that weight. I always like the 60-40 split. Same thing when you're throwing a punch. When you throw it like a cross, 60% is coming forward, 40% is back. Then when you retract that cross hand, it goes 64 to the other way. I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna go into some lunges, slow things down, but we're gonna give our knees a big hug first. In three, two, one. Bring that right knee up, hug it, drop forward into that lunge. Switch, grab that left knee, Give it a hug in tight, drop into that lunge. We're just stretching out that back a little bit when we hug our knees, as well as telling our knees how much we love them. No social distancing with those knees. We need them, come on. Bring that knee up, give it a good tight squeeze, also stretching things out, stretching out the glutes, and then we're just falling forward into that lunge, but we're not leaning forward with our chest. We are simply Bring our hips forward, keeping our chest up. Come on, you got a few more seconds here. Give yourself two more hugs. Three, two, one. We're gonna get down nice and low. Sit those hips down and do a squat. Bring your hands together, straight out in front. That's what I look like this. Then, what we're gonna do is twist one direction, put the knee down, come back to that squat hold, twist the other direction, put the knee down. Here, I'll do it from the front. So we're sitting down in that squat, we're just gonna twist, knee down, come back up, stay low though. You're just picking the, picking the knee up, but you're not standing it. Twist the knee side to side, come on, stay low. You're gonna feel this burning pretty quickly. We're getting everything nice and warm. Maybe in more than warm, maybe toasty. Come on, you got three, two, one. Back to that boxer bounce. Shake it out a little bit, move around a little bit more, not just back and forth. Start moving just however you want to go. Go a little side to side, a little forward, backward, whatever you like. Keep bouncing. I'm going to tell you about our next move. Good news is it's a burpee. No way, that's the bad news. But the good news is it won't be as tough because we're going to stretch out our back a little bit too. So what you're going to do, jump in the air like a burpee, go down, jump the feet out like a burpee, but then you're going to walk your hands back. Reach for your right foot, walk your hands back, reach for your left foot, jump back up again. Here, I'll show you from the side. So you jump up, down, jump the feet out, but then walk your hands in, 
Reach across, touch your toe, walk them back, walk them in. Reach across, touch your toe, come back to that high plank, jump the feet in, jump up in the air. Come on, give me three more of those. Drop down, hands on the ground. Jump the feet up, just like we're doing a burpee. But then we slow things down. Just walk those hands and reach across. Walk them back out, walk them back in. Reach across, can you see me here? Yeah, you can see me. Come on, last one, last one. We're going back to that boxer bounce. In three, two, one. Everybody back up. Boxer bounce, keep those shoulders relaxed. Let's move around a little bit more. Moving side to side, back and forth. Just feeling nice and comfortable. Not galloping though. We don't want to get, don't worry about speed, trying to go as fast as you can. You want to actually maintain that stance, maintain that weight distribution. And I'm going to tell you about the next move. This is kind of a weird one, but hey, that's what I'm here for. It's a uh, weird, I can't, anyway, we're going to drop down into a crab. One hand back, other hand back. Then we're going to come forward. Then we're going to jump up. Then we're going to go same thing. Drop down, put the hand on the ground. Crab position, flip it over into a bear position, jump up. We're getting that back nice and loose. And we're keeping that heat on, that heat on the muscles. Come on, you're coming down to the two minute warning here. Keep working, two minute warning. Drop down, reach back, find the ground, catch, flip over, come back up, jump. Now you can do this nice and slow, nice and easy. We only have two more. And we're gonna go back to, that's right, you guessed it, that boxer bounce. See, three, two, one. Back in that boxer bounce this time. I want you to just go diagonally across the floor. We're gonna do a little X shuffle all the way out. Cross over here, and then we're gonna shuffle this way. Little shuffle, X shuffle, zigzag shuffle. Come on, keep going. You could use this to recover. We got about five more seconds. I got another fun, Burpee variation for you. This time, keep on shuffling. We're gonna do a big broad jump forward, down, jump the feet out, but we're gonna walk the hands all the way out. So broad jump forward, jump the feet out, walk those hands all the way up and jump. So it's like we're doing a walkout, as well as a burpee, as well as a broad jump, all in one. But we're not going super fast, so there shouldn't be too rough, too rough. Not as bad as regular burpees. Come on, you got 10 more seconds of this. And then we're gonna start to speed things up. We're coming down to that final stretch. Come on, let's do one more together. Big broad jump forward, down, burpee. Walk those hands up. Everybody fast feet in place. As soon as you can, fast feet in place. Come on, we're going side to side, fast feet. Quickly as we can, side to side. You keep those hands up. When I say down, that's right, you guessed it. We're going down to the ground. Burpee and back to those fast feet. Down. Back to those fast feet. Come on. Down. Back to those fast feet. Back to those fast feet. Sprawl. Back to those fast feet. Side to side. Come on. Come on. Sprawl. Go on. Back to those fast feet. We're going to fast feet in a circle. Circle now. Circle. Sprawl. Quick. Fast feet. Circle. 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 Sprawl. Go ahead. Circle. Other direction. Come on. Nice and fast. Nice and fast. Nice and fast. Sprawl. Sprawl. I can't say it, but you can do it. Sprawl. And time. Good job, everybody. Let's get ready for round number one. All right, guys, we got four rounds coming at you. Each round is going to consist of three parts. First will be the base combo. Second will be a footwork related drill. And the third will be something fun just to get that heart rate way up, push that cardio. So very first combo, we'll keep it nice and simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna throw a jab, cross, and a lead hook. But instead of just a regular old lead hook, you are going to step into your jab crosses, pivot and throw that lead hook. Now pivoting is simply, you're gonna step out the lead side and bring your rear leg around as you throw that hook. So it's jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. That will be it. We'll add on the second time through. We'll go through each of these twice. Our little uh, part two of the round will be just a boxer balance. I'll call it forward or backward. Part three, we're gonna get on the ground for some exciting Variations on a push up, but here we go. We're going jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. That's it. Try to stay with me. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Try stepping into those jab crosses and coming around on that pivot, lead hook. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Good. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. I'm moving backwards. You're moving forward. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Come on. 
Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Come on. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. You got three, two, one. Go, everybody. Boxer bounce, just like we did in that warm up, except I want you to go a little faster. And when I say forward, one, two, forward. When I say backward, one, two, backward. Nice, quick hops. Stay in that stance. Forward. Boom, boom. First forward. Come on, backward. Boom, boom. Come on, good. Forward. Boom, boom. Forward. Boom, boom. Forward. Boom, boom. Backward. One, two. Come on. Backward. One, two. Two hops. Forward. One, two. Backward. One, two. Come on. Forward. One, two. Backward. One, two. Everybody on the ground. Here we go. Regular push up. Except, if you can see me, you're going to push up. Reach forward. Alternating hands. Reach forward and touch as far as you can go. Push up, reach forward. Push up, reach forward. Just reach that hand out all the way. Touch the ground though. Push up, reach forward and touch. Push up, reach forward and touch. Come on, try to keep that weight. Balance. We're working our core here too. Come on, keep going. You got five seconds. Three, two, one, combo, go. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. You're moving in. Jab, cross, and then coming around that pivot, lead hook. Come on. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Move it into me. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Here I am. Come and get me. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Come on. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Jab, cross, pivot, lead hook. Right to my chin. Right to here. Boom, boom. And then pivot, lead hook comes around. Come on. You got three, two, one. Back to that boxer bounce. Faster this time. Faster, really. Feeling it in those glutes. When I say forward, it's three bounces forward. One, two, three. Come on, backward. One, two, three. Forward. One, two, three. Keep those hands up. Backward. One, two, three. Forward. One, two, three. Backward. One, two, three. Forward. One, two, three. Backward. One, two, three. Come on, one more time. Forward. One, two, three. Backward, one, two, three, down, push up, go. Push up, reach and tap, push up, reach and tap, come on. Left, 20 seconds, go. Reach and tap, push up, reach and tap. You can do these on your knees. Don't stop though, 10 seconds. Last 10 seconds, nobody stops. Push up, reach more, touch the ground. Come on, you get three, two, one. Everybody on your feet, jump and rope. When life takes a shot at you and knocks you down, you get right back up. And you jump some rope. No, you keep fighting. Speaking of which, you keep jumping. I'm going to tell you about the fighting part. Next round, we're going to get a little trickier. We're going to talk about phases of attack. Moving in, moving out, moving in, moving out. So, what we're going to do is start off nice and slow. We're going to step forward, throw that jab. Then we're going to step backward. Then we're going to step forward, jab, cross. Then we're going to step backward. And then we're going to go jab, cross, jab. Then we're going to step backward. And we're just gonna go jab, cross, jab, cross. That's it, jabs and crosses. But I want you phasing it. So it looks like this. You're stepping in, jab, step back, jab, cross, step back, jab, cross, jab, step back, jab, cross, jab, cross. Moving in and out, moving in and out. You will get that heart rate going. Part two is gonna be a little drill going forward and backward as well. And then we're going to the ground again for part three. So here we go, get ready. Three, two. One, jab, step back, step in, jab, cross, step back, step in, jab, cross, jab, step back, step in, jab, cross, jab, cross. Good, go get it, one more time. Step in, jab, step back, step in, jab, cross, step back, step in, jab, cross, jab, step back, step in, jab, cross, jab, cross. Come on, step in, jab, boom, step back, jab, cross, step in, jab, cross, jab, step back, step in, jab, cross, jab, cross. Every time you throw a punch, you step back. Every time you get ready to throw the next punch, you step in, step in, jab. Step back, step in, jab, cross. Step back, step in, jab, cross, jab. Come on, then jab, cross, jab, cross. Every time you're going forward and back, come on. You got three, two, one. Here's our footwork drill. All we're gonna do, one, two, forward, back. One, two, forward, back. One, two, forward, back. Keep those hands up. Two steps forward, one step back. We get together, cause that's the track. Come on, you got five seconds. One, two, back. One, two, back and really drive off those toes. Come on, you got three. You got two. One, back down to push ups. And here we go. Changing up, push up. Reach over, cross your hands. Push up, reach over, cross your hands. Push up, reach over, cross your hands. Like twister. Push up, reach over, cross your hands. 
Working that balance, working that core. Come on. You got 10 seconds. You're going to have to get up and you're going to have to fight. In three, two, one. Here we go. Jab, step back, step in. Jab, cross, step back, step in. Jab, cross, jab, step back, step in. Jab, cross, jab, cross. That's it. And repeat. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Come on, jab. Jab, cross, jab. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Come on, push me back. My movement and on these punches. Step in, jab, step back. Jab, cross, step back, step in. Jab, cross, jab, step back, step in. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Come on, one more time. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, now back to that forward drill. Remember, two quick steps forward, one step back. I want you to try to make this tough. I want you to feel it. One, two, back. One, two, back. One, two, back. You're hopping in one, two, and then back. Hopping back, come on. We got five more seconds. Keep those hands up, shoulder lock. One, two, back. One, two, back. Keep that balance. On the ground, go. Push up, reach over, push up, reach over. Come on. You can do these on your knees, but what do I have to say? Prove it. Prove it to yourself. Come on, reach and touch. Push up, reach and touch. We are almost there. Last five seconds. Come on, everybody. Don't stop. You got three, two, one. Hot lava butt kickers. Kick those heels up nice and fast. Don't linger on the ground. As soon as those toes touch, they just bounce right back up. Come on. You can kick your hands back there. Good job. Everybody, keep going. I'm going to tell you about round three. More phasing in and out. But this time, we're going to start with not a full step jab, which somewhat ironically is two steps. It's a half step. So we're going to throw a jab and just bring our lead foot out. Our rear foot stays planted. As we bring the jab hand back, our lead foot comes out. That's called a half step jab. You can use it as a feint. You can use it just to try the range. So half step jab, bring it back. Then, just like we did in the footwork drill in the last round, jab, jab, cross, moving forward, hop back, cross. So it's gonna be half step jab, bring it back, forward. Jab, jab, cross, hop back, cross. Just like that drill, now we're adding some punches. Half step jab, bring it back, jab, jab, cross, hop back, cross. So, you're gonna hit me with that jab, boom. Half step, come back in, come in at me. Jab, jab, cross, hop back, cross. That's it. Jab, and then come in. Double jab, cross, hop back, cross. Jab, double jab, cross, hop back, cross. You got it now. Half step, jab, step back. Jab, jab, cross, moving in. Step back, cross. Jab, 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 cross. Cross, here we go, five more seconds, come on. One more time, jab, 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 cross, step back, cross, here's that footwork drill. We're gonna work laterally now, we're gonna step in, one, two, and out. Step in, one, two, and out. But we're making our way to our right. And now we're gonna go back to the left, as soon as you get out of frame on your camera. Step in, step in, and back out, keeping those hands up, come on. You got five more seconds, keep working, keep working, keep working, step forward, step out at an angle. We're gonna go into a burpee uppercut ladder. Here's what I mean. In three, two, one. We're gonna go down, burpee. We're gonna go upper, upper. Back down, burpee. Then four. One, two, three, four. Then back down. Then it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice and quick though. Nice and quick. And then it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Down. Let's get to ten. Get to 10, come on, give me those uppers. Give me those uppers, let's put the mitts on. Oh no, I'm not, not yet, not yet. No, yes I am, sure. Three, two, one, back to that combo. We're going half step, jab, back, jab, jab, cross, hop back, cross. And when you hop back and throw that cross, putting that weight on that spring, on that shock absorber, transferring into the cross. So jab, 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 cross, cross, good. Jab, step in, jab, jab, cross, step back, cross. Jab, step in, jab, jab, cross, step back, cross. Good, one more tuck. Jab, step in, jab, jab, cross, step back, cross. Good, here's that footwork drill again. In and out, we're going forward, in, out, and we're moving laterally as we do it. 
Keeping that good fighting stance. Keeping those feet in that nice L shape. Not too narrow, not too wide. You've got perfect balance here. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Burpee uppercut ladder, can you beat 10? Let's find out. Down, go. Burpee uppercut. One, two, down. One, two, three, four, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down, let's beat that score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Come on. Can you do 14? You got five seconds. Fast you can. Don't quit. Three, two, one. We're just going marching high knees. Not running high knees. I'm not that mean. I know you're tired. You've been moving. That heart rate should be going. That's the idea. That's the idea when you do these circuits. We are overtraining ourselves, getting used to fighting when we're tired, when we're out of breath, when we just need a break. But we're still throwing those punches, just like in life. So, one more round to go. I'll make this one a little easier. We're gonna talk about circle. All we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a jab, cross, lead hook to the body, lead body shot. As you bring it back, we're gonna take that pivot step, just like we did in round one. So, jab, cross, body shot, pivot step, but now you're facing another direction and you're gonna circle. One, two, jab, cross, body shot, pivot, lead hook, circle. One, two, jab, cross, body shot, pivot, lead hook, and circle. Just two times or three times, whatever you want. Here we go. Jab, cross, body shot, pivot, lead hook, and circle. Jab, cross, body shot, pivot, lead hook, and circle. You're circling around your frame. Jab, cross, body shot, pivot, lead hook. Keep moving here, it's actually harder with the mitts to show you. Jab, cross, body shot, pivot, lead hook, circle, one, two. Jab, cross, body shot, pivot, lead hook, circle, one, two. Come on, you're just circling to that lead side. Just that lead side, you guys are doing great. Five more seconds, keep going. Jab, cross, body shot, pivot, lead hook, circle, one, two. Jab, cross, body shot, pivot, lead hook, circle, one, two. Come on, three, two, one, footwork, drill, roll, step. Step forward, roll, step backward, roll. Step to the left, roll, step to the right, roll. Step roll, step roll. I want you to try to speed this up though. Keep that chest lifted. Make sure you're looking at me the whole time. You don't want that head turned to the ground. That's the worst position in boxing to be in. Come on, keep those hands up. Keep those hands up. Don't make it a dance. Make sure you've got that good fighting stance the whole time. Come on, you guys are almost there. Three, two, one. We're going down to those burpees. But out of the burpee comes a broad jump, jump, twist. Burpee, broad jump, jump, twist, burpee, right out of the burpee, broad jump, jump, twist, come on, come on, this is tough, this is round four, we're almost done, five more seconds, we're going to go back to that combo, and we're going to circle the other way, so we're going to go jab, cross, lead body shot, pivot lead hook, and then we're going to circle to our rear side, jab, cross, body shot, pivot lead hook, then we're going to circle that opposite direction. Jab, cross, body shot, pivot, lead hook, circle one, two to the right, or you can go three or four or whatever, but at least more than one. Jab, cross, body, pivot, lead hook, circle. Come on, jab, cross, body, pivot, lead hook, and circle. Keep going, keep going. You got three, two, one. Let's go roll steps, but let's add some punches. What punches? Whatever you want. Freestyle. Just throw two punches out of each roll step. Roll step, cross hook. Roll step, hook, cross. Roll step, her uppercut, lead hook. Whatever you want. Boom, boom, boom. At least two punches out of every roll step. Come on. You got five seconds. Keep going. We're almost there. One more set of burpees and we're done. Here we go. Broad jump. Twist. Down. Burpee. Broad jump. Jump and twist. Down, burpee, broad jump, jump and twist. 15 seconds to go, guys. I'm gonna look at all of you. I wanna make sure you stick with it. Nobody quits. Final 10 seconds, you work so hard. Do not stop, do not slow down. It is almost over. In three, two, one. You're number one. Good job, everybody. We're gonna do some core. You got a mat? Great, if you don't, that's okay. If you have, we're actually gonna use a medicine ball. Well, I'm gonna use a medicine ball. You don't need a medicine ball, you just need something. 
We're not even gonna pick it up. I'll show you what I mean. So if you've got a bottle of something, a regular soccer ball, whatever you want, we're gonna use that for the first part of our core. All right, guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put our ball or our something right in front of us. We're gonna get in that V-sit position. And all we're gonna do is bring our feet forward and we're going around the ball. So you're bringing the feet in, pushing them out. In, out. But you're using that ball or your whatever as a reference point just to not touch. Keep that body control. Going in and out. In and out, try to get as close to it as you can without actually touching it. Come on. We got 10 seconds left here. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. You're gonna feel this in the inside of your legs, hopefully two. Come on, keep going. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna do a little jackknife crunch. Bring our feet together, bring them down, and then we're gonna go circle, jackknife crunch. Then we're gonna go circle the other direction. Jackknife crunch. Bring it down, legs circle, bring it straight up, touch those toes. Circle, doesn't have to be a big circle, but give me something, you can bring those hands all the way out to do a bigger circle, and then reach up and touch those toes. Come on, you got three, two, one. Grab that ball, grab that something again, and this time, V-sit position, same thing, but we're just going over, over. Lift those feet over, touch those heels on the ground. So hopefully your thing is not too tall that you can bring those feet over. Come on, feet over, drop heels to the ground, just a nice, light touch. Nice, light touch. You guys are doing awesome. Come on, we got it. Oh, we got five seconds, easy, easy. Five seconds, touch those heels, three, two, one, move that ball to the side. Here we go. Back to those crunches. Hands out. Do a big circle. Toe touch. I said crunch, toe touch. You get the idea. Hurry, jump and touch those toes. Come on, everybody. You got about 15 seconds here. Keep that lower back on the ground. Don't let it come up. It's gonna wanna come up, but don't let it. Don't let it keep it down. You can bring those hands down to T-pose to help you. Come on, almost there. You got three, two, one. All right, we're gonna stay with those toe touches. We're gonna reach up, touch our toes, but then we're gonna roll to our side and hold it for just a count. Come back to our backs, touch. Roll to our other side, back to the middle, touch. So we're keeping those hands together, keeping those feet together, like a banana roll, getting onto our side, not putting too much stress on that shoulder. Reach and touch, get to your side and then roll back. Come on, keep working. 10 more seconds here. Reach and touch those toes, or touch near the toes. Reach for the toes. Like reach for the stars. We're not actually gonna get to the stars, but we're gonna reach for them. Come on, best effort. You guys are doing so well. Roll to the side, just hold it for a count so you're nice and balanced. Come back and touch, come on. You get three, two, one. We're gonna roll all the way over into that elbow plank. See if you can see me in this one. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna go all the way back, keeping our hips flat, shift all the way forward, then we're gonna touch our right knee to the ground, left knee to the ground. Can you see me doing this? Can you see my knees? It's a subtle thing, but your knees are touching one at a time. So, you're going shift back, shift forward, right knee, left knee. Shift back, shift forward, right knee, left knee. Shift back, shift forward, touch that knee. Just a little tiny tap on the ground. Control that body though. Don't let yourself tip too much to one side. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. You guys are doing great. Doing great, we got 10 seconds here. A little rocking forward, boom, boom. Rock back, rock forward, boom, boom. Come on, back, rock forward, touch, touch. Rock back, rock forward, touch, touch. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, we're gonna go onto our backs again, but this time we're gonna do a little bridge. So bring your heels in as close to your butt as you can. Lift those hips up, there goes my hat. You're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Then you're gonna come back down, hollow body hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bridge, five, four, get those hips up high, three, Two, one, hollow body. Five, four, three, two, one, keep it going. Bridge, five. Really get those hips a little higher if you can. Three, two, 
One, hollow body. Five, four, three, two, more. We're gonna, one more, and we're gonna hold for 10 seconds this time. Come on, keep those hips up, keep those hips up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it's hollow body time. Hold it. Come on. We got five, four, oh no, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. What am I thinking? Now we got five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everybody. We're gonna roll back to our fronts. This time we're gonna go just simple elbow plank to high plank. You see me all right? Yep, elbow plank. I'm at a weird angle today. The high plank. Back down to those elbows, up to those hands. Come on, I want you guys to keep working. Keep working, and when you get up to your hands, try to keep, try to keep that balance. Don't let yourself shift or rock too much. Come on, keep working. Oh, do I have hat hair? Yeah, I do. Oh yeah, I do, come on. Keep going, keep going. Come on, down. And I'm almost there. We're gonna go back to our backs again in three, two, one. Back to our backs. Now you may remember, doing something called rocking chair abs where you cross one foot over and you rock back and forth. We're gonna do that again, except now we're gonna add a left elbow to right knee crunch. So as we bring our feet up and in, we crunch. Rocking chair with a twist, come on. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm almost there, rocking chair, twist. We're gonna switch in three, two, one. Other side, left foot over right foot, or right knee. We're gonna rock, reach. Elbow to knee, like a bicycle. Rock, bring that foot up, and bring that elbow to knee. Twist as much as you can. As you're coming up, reach, twist, inside elbow to that inside knee. You've got a cross throw, it's like a figure four crunch. But we're gonna get a little rocking chair, abs in, come on. You got five more seconds, now you got six more seconds. Now you got five, four, three, two, one, yeah! Oh, mama, you did it. Good work, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was a tough one. And now the weather's hotter and more humid outside, workouts are gonna get a little tougher, especially as we adapt. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water, brushing your teeth, staying in school. No, well, I guess you should do those things too. Uh, we got lots of water today, more than even you think you need. What's the harm that's gonna happen? Nothing, nothing, water's good for you. Hey, that was a lot of fun. You guys did great, you guys killed it. I don't know if any people caught the Memorial Day class I did last week, so I wanted to make sure that was extra tough in case you missed it, just to make you feel bad. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But I uh, hope you guys had a great Memorial Day weekend, belatedly, and I uh, hope you had a great week after Memorial Day weekend. And I always will hope you hit it hard!